profile pictures. As you know, this is a series on the channel that I've yet to do a follow-up for. So I'm like, you know what, bro? Why not follow it up? And I got some more types of profile pictures that we're going to talk about today. Now, let's start with this one I didn't talk about last time for some reason. I don't know why. The NFT profile picture. A lot of people who own NFTs like to flex them as their profile pictures for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because they bought a square that was worth 100 bands for a square. Bro could have got a down payment on a house, but instead he spent it on an NFT. And what other use are you going to get out of the NFT? People who own NFTs like to claim their NFT as, quote, their property. So a lot of people use this as their profile pictures, ironically, which I think is pretty funny in my opinion. But some people have them unironically and they're like, erm, this is my property. Listen, bro, I know you're trying to cope with the stupid ass purchase you just made, but it's okay, man. It's all right. You'll definitely find someone dumber to buy it for even more money. Next on the list, we got a better one. All right, your face. All right, if you rock this profile picture, you, you got a lot of confidence, bro, because me personally, I wouldn't do that. If I was just somebody who was browsing the internet, having people be able to see what I look like would just be weird to me. Like I haven't really even done a proper face reveal yet because once it's out there, you can't go back, bro. And especially if you hold a lot of influence, if the internet thinks you're ugly, yeah, bro, you might not want to read those comments. I mean, unless you really don't care. But yeah, man, you got to have some confidence for this one. So uh, props to you. And for the next one, we got the direct opposite, mysterious. Now for this one, you're trying to get like a low aura going like Playboy Cardi. You want everybody to think you're completely off the map, off the radar. There's a lot of rappers on Instagram that just don't post. And me personally, bro, I think that shit's corny as hell. You don't have to fit a mysterious persona if you're somebody who's more vocal on social media. Post! They're following absolutely nobody because they don't want that shit to affect their aura. They want to stay mysterious. And I mean, like I said, a lot of rappers like to do this because I guess it helps them with sales on their albums. I don't know, man. I, I don't fucking know. But everybody wants to be opium now. It's the new thing. Next on the list, we got the Joker. Now this dude, he's going through it. He in his villain arc right now. His girlfriend just broke up with him and he's liking a bunch of sad quotes. And of course, he's very in tune with all the Joker memes, obviously. And this dude just hates everybody, not just women. Or, I mean, he hates women especially, but bro. And this dude hates everybody, bro. He's like, society's plotting against me. I, I don't know, man. He's just going through it. He'll tell his mom it's not a phase, but it is. It's just a phase. Next on the list, we got the Chad profile picture. It is a visual representation of them, bro, because they are just a legend. Because just look at that profile picture. It's a visual representation of you. I generally see mostly positive comments from these profile pictures. I don't see anything wild. I mean, from the most part, they seem like generally chill people from what I've seen. Next on the list, we got like an IG model or something, but that's not you. Like, it's just you're using her profile picture. Like, what the fuck is the point of that? Like, listen, bro, I know it's not you. I, I would play Xbox a lot back in the day. I would see so many people with like IG models in their profile picture. But bro, your gamer score 55,000. That's not you. Maybe somebody tell me why in the comments. I mean, I don't understand the point, but there's also people who have like random e-girls in their profile pictures too. Like, do you want like a bunch of down bad dudes DMing you on Discord and shit? Like, hello, um, I've seen your profile picture and um, like, no, absolutely not. Nobody should want that. Taylor Swift. All right, I have to put this one by itself. Taylor Swift is like crack to these Swifties. I don't understand it. The amount of people I've seen have terrible interactions with Taylor Swift stands is crazy. Like I could go up to most girls and they will say, oh yeah, I like Taylor Swift. I mean, she has the music industry in a chokehold, bro. And goddamn, apparently the NFL too. I mean, they literally kept pointing the cameras towards her. I mean, they were doing that shit for a reason. But although Taylor Swift is enjoyed by millions and a lot of her music is absolutely mid. Fucking mid, bro. That's the best way I can use to describe it. I don't know. I just don't fuck with it. And I know a lot of people are gonna like hate on me for that in the comments, but listen, bro. That's just not my type of music. Like no matter what, I'm just not putting that new Taylor Swift on Ox. If you like that music, that's fine. You know, it's not my thing. I see all the Taylor Swift fans in the comments right now. Oh my God. I can't believe you hate on Taylor Swift. To that, I say yes. Kanye better. No, I'm just playing. I don't hate her. I just don't like her music. But Kanye still. Ironically enough, next we got Kanye West profile picture. And I think this one could be either hit or miss, to be honest with you. Kind of like any music artist profile picture. There's some people who are just casually fans of that music that have that profile picture. Then there's people that stand by every single thing that they say. But yeah, in this particular case, I mean, shit, we already know what happened. I mean, I like to separate the art from the artist because I mean, he did make graduation. A lot of Kanye stands said he was onto something when he said that thing two years ago. Yeah, it was just bad, bro. And I purchased a graduation poster because shit bro it's a good album but now everybody cooking me yo why you got a kanye poster bro why you got a graduation poster I'm like bro i literally have no 
comeback. Nothing. Next on the list, we got people who pretend to be other YouTubers. Like, for example, I see Mr. Beast profile pictures everywhere. And they're all like these scammy ass profile pictures. And they're telling me I'm going to get $10,000 if I give them all my credit card information. And I gladly give them all. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck that. Absolutely not, bro. If you fall for this scam, I don't know what else to say. Nobody's going to like host some kind of giveaway without even saying anything about it. And I see these channels try to generate like fake AI of Mr. B saying that he's going to personally deliver them a Ferrari if they provide all their credit card information. Next on this, we got the like Xbox 360 profile pictures. Now, I don't know what it is, bro, but these people just love talking shit, bro. I think they're just too used to the Xbox 360 parties. I think that's what it is. Next on the list, we got matching profile pictures. <sighs> These Johns are literally used by eaters, and you can really only imagine what goes on with these profile pictures. I mean, I don't really gotta say anything. They do all this shit just to end up breaking up. Oh my god, no. The E breakup. So sad. Bro, you haven't even seen the person in real life. Your relationship runs on a power cord, bro. And they rock this profile picture, even though the relationship is about to end in a month's time. Like, let's just be honest. You met this person on fucking Roblox, dude. Next on the list, we got animal profile pictures. And now a lot of these profile pictures are just wholesome. Some people will just put their pet dog as their profile picture. And you know what, bro? That profile picture goes crazy. But then some people just be putting ugly ass animals as their profile picture. Some people set their profile picture to that ugly ass blobfish. But how the hell can you even look at that all day? Like out of any animal that you could have possibly chose for a profile picture, you pick that one. Next up, we got stock photos of random ass people. And I guess these people are just trying to look super professional, but we know it's not them. The amount of times I've seen people with this guy's fucking face as their profile picture is wild. I remember people that would make YouTube comment bots would always have this dude as their profile picture. Because when I had 300 subscribers, I got a comment from this dude, and he had this exact profile picture. He had like 40,000 subs, and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god! I got a comment from a guy with 40,000 subs! I was telling my mom, I was telling everybody I knew, I was telling random ass people on the street. But yeah, come to find out, bro was just a bot. I mean, I should have suspected that from the beginning, but at the time, I was a stupid ass kid bro fortnite profile pictures a lot of people that have fortnite profile pictures specifically like the soccer player skins you already know that they're like cranking 90s on motherfuckers all day they're getting ready to cook up their next fortnite montage bro i swear to god every fortnite youtuber that i saw back in the day would always have like the soccer player some sweaty ass skin as their profile picture a lot of people who have this profile picture bro their life is fortnite man they, they just crank 90s a lot of these people just grind 1v1s on fortnite like they don't even play the actual game like what is the point like i'm not gonna lie i used to be one of those kids that would just 1v1 all the time and i look back and i'm like the hell was even the point i didn't even really play the game at all but if you happen to run up on one of these kids at fortnite bro they're just gonna fucking build towers over you just to fall down and get knocked after like what the fuck was the point of all that sports profile pictures yeah if you have any opposing opinion about their team or their favorite player or whoever it is they will go off on you in the comments you'll see this one everywhere in like nfl highlights and soccer highlights highlights and shit like that every person in the comments is gonna have like some soccer players their profile picture i already know they're getting mad in the comments because i called it soccer it doesn't matter bro we're referring to the same thing a lot of sports fans have it to support their favorite team player or whatever but goddamn bro some sports fans are crazy let's say for instance i would pull up to the game with an away team jersey oh i would get fucking cooked bro i'm getting booed i'm getting snowballs thrown at me literally everything the whole nine yards bro in all honesty dude it's really not that serious if your team loses, your team loses. There's no need to rage and break your TV over it. Minion profile pictures. I already know every single Facebook mom got this one. I mean, they're the ones feeding over minion memes on Facebook, bro. They're waiting for that next minion meme to drop. And especially this cult minion profile picture that was going around on TikTok. This shit was so annoying. When I was in the comment section on TikTok back in the day, this is the only thing I saw. I guess it was a thing that people would do to get followers. I I'm not even really sure. This is all I I would see i wouldn't even see anything else i thought i was fucking delusional i thought i was going crazy next on the list we got among us this shit peaked like three years ago all right it's time to pack it up during well you know when bro among us had its run and everybody was playing that shit but now i mean it has a player base but the memes are just so painfully unfunny and that's literally what i think of every time i hear or see among us anywhere honestly next on the list we got like a car profile picture now i mean bro it just goes hard i mean who doesn't want a lambo in their profile picture They're Early when I was in school, a lot of people had these profile pictures on like social media and stuff. Honestly, I don't really think it's bad at all. And a lot of you probably like.
like, all right, Birdie, what do you think about your profile picture? You know, you're roasting all these profile pictures. What do you think about yours? And well, all I got to say is if I can't draw for shit was an image, it would be my profile picture. But yeah, if your profile picture was in the video, all right, listen, don't take this shit too seriously. It's really not that deep. It's just a profile picture at the end of the day.